Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here, and I'm doing a new movie review this week. It's called For the Dark World. It's a sequel to the first movie, For, which came out in 2011. It stars Chris Hemsworth, Natalie Portman, Tom Hiddleston, Anthony Hopkins, Christopher Elliston, Jamie Alexander, Zachary Levy, Ray Stevenson, Kate Dennings, Dylan Skarsgård, Aris Alba, Alex Cridge, and Rene Russo. And it's directed by Alan Taylor and James Gunn. The movie begins of thousands of years ago. A race known as the Dark Elves had tried to send the universe into darkness by using a weapon known as the Aether. But warriors from Asgard stopped them until the leader, Makif, had escaped. Therefore, the warriors found the Aether since it couldn't be destroyed and tries to hide it. But in the present day, Jane Foster, played by Natalie Portman, had awaited the return of Thor, played by Chris Hemsworth, but it's been two years ever since, since he was trying to bring peace to the Nine Realms, and plus, he was working with the Avengers in New York. However, Jane discovers an anonymously similar one that's brought forward to Earth, but she, along with the assistant played by Kate Dennings, along with her intern, had went to investigate and find a wormhole and was sucked into it. Thor, on the other hand, wanted to wish to return to Earth, but his father, Odin, played by Anthony Hopkins, had refused to let him. But Thor learns from Hendel that the one he can see into all the realms that Jane disappeared. Thor then will return to Earth, just as Jane returned, to find out what's happening. And Thor brings her to Asgard to find out the discovery that she, she was under and uh, attacked her. Once that happens, Odin decided to keep Jane on Asgard so Mekith will come. And while Ford disagrees with his plan, along with his crew, they decided to take Jane away while he enlists his brother, Loki, played by Tom Hiddleston, to join in to stop these Dark Elves from attacking Earth and not all the way around. The only problem is, is that Ford can't trust Loki after what happened. Well, I really did enjoy the sequel quite as much as I would because the way this movie was going was very beautiful and yet it was very sad at the same time with some of these scenes. I mean I did admire the way the story was going because we knew what was going to happen once these dark elves were going to go around and attack Asgard and, and the world. But it was great to see the original cast from the first movie. This time this movie got even better than I thought. Well, even though it did have, have some flaws in the film, but so was the first film. But, you know, as much as I enjoyed that one, this one had more and more story. And it was even more darker than, than the first movie. It had more elements to it. Yeah, the wormhole scenes in the movie was, was very amazing. How he goes, how they went straight from uh, Earth to, you know, to the, the another part of the land and everything and then there are a lot of these uh, <laughs> funny moments when when the intern of course <laughs> picks up the entire car which has already been floating <laughs> and kills all those dark elves in the movie yeah I was just meanwhile <laughs> Kate Denning's character you know, winds up uh, kissing him that was just oh that was a funny moment right there and there are plenty of others in the movie, especially the ones with Loki, who, yeah, I had to, he did stole the show from me. It was just beautiful. It had a lot of great special effects in the film, like CGI and everything. It looks perfect. It was just totally amazing and, and very epic. Something that I, I never thought you'd see. I didn't see this in 3D though, but I only saw it in 2D. And it looks amazing. But it's definitely worth watching. If you get a chance, definitely go see this movie. I really enjoy, I mean, especially if you love the first four 
And if you love the Avengers and all these other stuff that you've seen, especially all the comics and all that, you're definitely going to enjoy this one. It's, it's worth the wait. So anyway, I give For the Dark World four stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.